Ave Maria, welcome back to No Apologies. I'm Brother Joseph, and sometimes Catholics are asked, Why do you call your priest father when in the Gospel of Matthew our Lord says that we are to call no man your father on earth? And to understand that our Lord there was not speaking literally, we need to read the context in which that's found. And condemning the scribes and the Pharisees' pride, Jesus begins in chapter 23 at verse 5, saying, They do all their deeds to be seen by men, for they make their flactories broad and their fringes long, and they love the place of honor at feasts and the best seats in the synagogues and salutations in the marketplaces and being called rabbi by men. But you are not to be called rabbi, for you have one teacher, and you are all brethren. And call no man your father on earth, for you have one father who is in heaven. So the admonition is to show the scribes and the Pharisees their error in not sincerely and humbly acknowledging God as the source of all authority and fatherhood, rather than setting themselves up as the ultimate authority and teacher. So in making that point, he's not telling us to literally not call anyone father, but not to see in any man the supreme authority that belongs only to God. And proof of that is in the many New Testament passages where the use of father or fatherhood is seen in a legitimate way. Our Lord tells us in the Gospel of Matthew to honor our father and our mother. And he also refers to Abraham as Father Abraham in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 16, verse 24. And St. Stephen and Paul call the Jewish leaders in the Acts of the Apostles Father in chapter 7, verse 2, and chapter 22, verse 1. And we see also that St. Paul, in his first letter to the Corinthians, describes a spiritual fatherhood. In chapter 4, verse 14 through 15, he writes, I do not write this to make you ashamed, but to admonish you as my beloved children. For though you have countless guides in Christ, you do not have many fathers. For I became your father in Christ Jesus through the gospel. So he's their spiritual father because he begot them in Christ. By his labors, prayers, and teachings, they came to new life in Christ. And that's the sense in which Catholics call priests their father. By administering the sacraments, by preaching and teaching, they beget children in Christ, bringing them to new life. And this is simply following many other examples given in the New Testament. St. Peter calls St. Mark his son in his first letter, 513. And St. John writes in his first letter, chapter 2, verse 1, My little children, I am writing this to you so that you may not sin. And then further, in his third letter, verse 4, he writes, No greater joy can I have than this, to hear that my children follow the truth. And finally, St. Paul, in his letter to the Galatians, chapter 4, verse 19, writes, My little children, with whom I am again in travail, until Christ be formed in you. And all of these, in referring to others as their children, it implies the reality, the existence of this spiritual fatherhood. So to call our priests fathers is in no way contradictory to sacred scripture. And it is certainly in line with common sense. So thanks for joining me here on No Apologies. Ave Maria.